RVA Today, sponsored by Riverside Tappahannock Hospital. Welcome to RVA Today, I'm Tracy Lynn. Joining us today is Dr. Lisa Dodd of Riverside Tappahannock Hospital to talk about emergency care. Welcome Dr. Dodd, so glad to have you here today. Thank you. Talk about Riverside Tappahannock Hospital Emergency Department. So Riverside Tappahannock Emergency Department is a full service emergency department. We uh, provide all um, aspects of care in the emergency realm from diagnostics to treatment. Um, so we are staffed by highly trained physicians and individuals. We're open 24 seven um, and we're always there to serve the public. And Dr. Dodd, if I live in the Tappahannock region and require emergency care, why is it critical to go to the nearest ER? So coming to the closest ER allows us to provide care in a timely fashion, allows us to um, provide earlier care, diagnostics, and um, get the treatment plan started. In many issues, um, the care is time sensitive, such as in stroke or heart attack, and that may mean better outcomes for the patients. And does a smaller emergency department mean that I'll have to wait a little bit longer? So that's a question we get all the time, um, and that is not true. We Just because we're a smaller emergency department does not mean that you'll have to wait longer. In fact, you'll, try, you'll save time with travel, and you'll be able to get in, get the diagnostics, um, and determine a treatment plan quicker um, and more efficient than if you travel to another longer distance ER. Great information. When should we call 911 instead of driving a loved one to the emergency department? 911 should be called anytime there's chest pain, shortness of breath, severe pain, burns, altered mental status, any weakness, um, and any other times the family or friends are not comfortable in um, transporting the patient. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Dodd. Thank you. And thank you for watching RVA Today. See you next time.